Hey, how's it going? Brian here. Um, you ever uh, get something uh, like a gift or you just buy something, you know, and you save the box? You know, we do that here at my house sometimes, like a TV or something, and you save it and you're like, oh, if anything ever happens to it, you know, we can put it in the box and ship it. Or if you move, um, you know, we've used <laughs> boxes like that when we've moved before. But uh, a few months ago, quite a few months ago, actually, um, I came across um, this, I, uh, my, my box for uh, New King James Version Bible that I bought, gosh, probably um, a, a year or so ago. And uh, I, don't, I don't know why I have it, because I definitely don't need um, the box to move the Bible around. And um, I don't keep my Bible in the box, because, you know, uh, it, if it's in the box, it can't be really used, because then it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. But um, I had this epiphany or <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I get these random thoughts and I, I like to think that the Lord inspires me to do these things. Um, but this is, uh, this is what this is about. So, you know, we go to church um, or we have a Bible um, and, uh, you know, a lot of times, like when I was doing youth ministry, you know, I would I feel that this very strongly to to like encourage the students to read the word of God. I mean, that's where, that's where our fulfillment comes from. Um, that's where, uh, that's where life comes from. That's where the knowledge of God and the knowledge of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, all of those things come from the Bible, you know? Um, and I wonder, you know, and I've heard it said that, um, that, you know, a lot of the church nowadays is biblically illiterate. Um, and I don't, I don't know everything about the Bible nor will I ever. I'm not the Bible answer man, um, and I'll never claim to be that. Um, but I had this thought, um, you know, that this this box represents, you know, a Bible. And then uh, inside of it, and this was the clincher for me because I just had this thought. I opened it, and it's empty. And I thought, how many believers are there that have the Bible? and claim the Bible, but because they don't read it and they don't spend time actually in the Word of God, allowing it to transform your life, because that's where the transformation comes from. It comes from the Word of God. And then maybe, just maybe, we are lacking the stability and the knowledge and the understanding and the connectivity with God because our lives, our Christian lives, they look great on the outside. You know, they have all the information, you know, personal size, giant print reference Bible, you know, everything. It says beautiful, genuine leather binding, you know, end of verse references, words of Jesus in red, full color map. So on the outside, you know, this Thomas Nelson Bible, everything looks great in the box. All the packaging is perfect, but on the inside, completely empty. So let us not be a generation of people that say, you know, we love the Lord with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength, but there's no real regeneration or transformation on the inside of our bodies, on the inside of our soul, the inside of our mind. God's word renews our mind. My mind needs to be renewed every day. My heart and is desperately wicked beyond all recognition. God's word says that, you know. Um, I have to constantly be uh, in the word and, 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 and striving. And I don't mean striving like, hey, I got to reach for something and make it happen. But be purposed in my life to live out a, a life that is, um, that's connected with the Lord in such a way to where um, what's inside of me isn't empty, you know, but what's inside of me is full and the fullness of Christ comes out. You know, I was thinking about empty and I, I, I use a blue letter Bible a lot online and I've used Logos in the past. I have that as well. Um, so I have two different Bible softwares that I use depending on what I'm doing. And um, I came across this, I, I typed in the word empty, you know, looking for it. And uh, it says, be, this is, um, I think, uh, let's see. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8 I think this is it let me double check make sure um, where are we at here 
Uh, bah, bah, bah. Yeah. Yep, Colossians. Okay, good. Um, anyway, so Colossians chapter 2, verse 8 says this. Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. If it's not in here, it's not according to Christ. Verse 9 says this, For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. I love this. Verse 10 continues, it says, And you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. Man, if you're looking for completion and you want to be full, our completeness is in Christ. You know, all of us try and figure out how to fill ourselves. You know, uh, in children's ministry last week, we drew this, uh, we outlined one of the students and uh, we drew like this heart, this heart shape. And um, we tried to, we had little cutouts of different things, you know, characters from comic books and iPads, these little teeny pieces of paper. And we tried to fill it all in the heart. And it was this heart shape, right? But then we, we take the, 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 uh, the heart that we trace it out and had the word Jesus on it, had Jesus' name on it. And it fits perfectly. And Jesus fits perfectly into your heart. God designed you that way. Um, and so just remember this. Don't be filled with empty deceit um, according to the traditions of men um, or according to the basic principles of the world. But uh, be, be filled and understand Jesus Christ uh, through his word. Don't, don't have an exterior look about <laughs> Christianity. Sorry, my brain stopped. But have an interior look through, through God's word, through, through the Bible. Man, it's really hard to, to, to sit down and read the word. My flesh, you know, kind of can't stand it. But um, I just, uh, and, if, and if you don't understand what you need to do, just say, hey, God, you know what? I want to have a relationship with you. I want to live for eternity. Um, if you have sin in your life, we all have sin in our lives. You know, God's word said, says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe that, uh, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, that you'll be saved. For it's with your mouth that, you're, that you confess and with you, it's with your heart that you believe. Man, God made it super simple for us to be set free from sin, the bondage of sin, um, and death. And so, uh, anyways, the... Reason for this video is, again, for us not to look like, you know, good Bible, understanding people on the outside and be empty, but for um, our lives to be transformed by the renewing of our mind through the washing of the Word of God. God bless you guys. Keep it real. And uh, any comments, man, just leave them. See ya.